All right, everybody. This is the number for Mark. He is happy to accept year-round rentals. So for this campground, it's kind of nice to have monthly fees because let me tell you a great thing about Mark. He lets us insulate campers. This is our friend that we just met, his camper. He said I could film it. Um, you need a setup to insulate like this because the cold and getting underneath there and brings the cold up and it freezes your tanks easier, but the hay insulates it better. But year round, Mark is really kind enough to leave the water on. And electric on and the sewer is open. So it's really a nice setup because let me tell you, it's really hard to find a campground where you get all your amenities met. He keeps it pretty nice out here. And look at this view. You can see for miles out that way. And it's right off the highway. So it's really not a bad deal when you think about it. Most people don't want to leave their water or power on all season. That's the main highway 37 there. So if you're looking for a spot that's fair and a nice person to rent from, check him out in Groton, South Dakota here. You might even like it enough to stick around. It's pretty cool out here. Our camper's at Cedar Creek. Um, and we do help Mark with the campground. So he'd get to meet us anyhow too. But what I want to tell you about, I'm out of breath a little bit, sorry. Um, now you see the difference in our friend's camper and ours, okay? Now, I want to use ours as an example because the air goes underneath. And nothing stays really warm. So this is how we work our camper in the winter. Okay, my husband did leave this. That is not hooked up. It's just like that for the summer. Here's our cord. This is our setup. Our water's on too. Then nothing's froze. See, it's not froze because we're pouring water as we need it. And that's the key to campgrounds in the winter. Unless you have a setup to keep the water warm, which would be heat tape, massive amounts of insulation, and preferably a some kind of a box around it to keep it insulated and the wind off so we don't have the hay bales but my husband made this to dump the sewer down for the winter it's a five gallon bucket and he made it like a funnel now you just take and rinse that out you dump your stuff there you go but that's what we do with it in the winter um and there's our power cord. So everything's on in the winter at this campground. It's December 13th right now. And not that much snow around. But we got plenty of spots for you. And it's like I said, you can see the northern lights out here. You can see all kinds of fun things. But in the summer, that slough gets really pretty birds out here. And in the winter, you can see nice deer running along. You'll see animals on the ice. It's really cool out here. So, it's just something to consider. But anyway, um, and if you do rent out here and you come swing in, those are our trucks you want to look for. Because we help Mark, like I said, so he'll tell you to find me or Ruben to pay us. And then we take it to him or he comes by. But, yeah. Those are our two trucks. So if you see those... We're here. And then we ask that nobody smoke around those, obviously. That's how we stay warm. This is, when you live in your camper, and this is why we need two trucks, those are important because of the whole propane running out. Now normally, hi bingo, hi bear. Normally, you can take, sorry, 
you can take and run out of a 30 pound tank for a camper this size like ours it's a 36 and a half foot you can run out of those 30 pounders in probably less than two days so yeah that's why that's important and then yeah i don't know i don't understand why he's not busier because this is a wonderful spot to be right down the road there you'll find the grocery store if you go down that way through town you find a dollar general and we're only 20 miles from aberdeen so it's pretty convenient so anyway if you guys have any questions let me know or want me to do a different video let me know in the meantime i'm going to catch my breath a little bit i just wanted to get those hay bales and show the difference between ours and his and i'll talk about that a little bit later probably tomorrow or the next day we got to do a few things yet but i'll talk at you soon all right bye